so back to the channel guys in another math video and i'm back again with another interesting equation to solve here which is x to the fourth minus 9 is equal to 0 now uh, and we are uh, we are asked to find all the possible values of x that exist now some things to take a note of here is that the degree of this equation is 4 which means this equation will have at most four possible solutions and how can we find them well uh, the equations with a degree 4 are known as quartic equations and one way to solve quartic equations is to convert them into quadratic ones and how can we convert this equation into a quadratic equation well the first thing we need to do is to write x to the fourth as x square whole squared and this uh, I did this uh, because of an exponential law, law that uh, that says whenever a power is raised to a power the powers are multiplied so x square whole squared is just x to the power 2 times 2 which will again get back us to x to the fourth that's why I wrote x to the four as x square whole squared and 9 can be expressed as 3 squared and now why I expressed 9 as 3 squared well that's because I wanted to solve this uh, with the difference of squares formula to make the factoring e uh, easier so a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b here the value of a is x square and value of b is 3 square so x square whole square minus 3 square is just x square plus 3 times x square minus 3 and all of that is equated to 0. Now when x square plus 3 is equal to 0 what we, what we gotta do is to subtract 3 from both sides. And after that we will get x square equal negative 3 and what uh, whenever we encounter uh, a squared so whenever something is squared uh, we will take the root of it to remove the square in this case we will take the root square root of both sides so square root of x square and square root of neg uh, plus minus don't forget this plus minus sign square root of plus minus root negative 3 and uh, square root of x square is just x and what's the root of negative 3 well under root negative 3 can be written as under root 3 times negative 1 and the root of negative 1 is i so root of negative 3 becomes under root 3i so x is equal to under root plus minus 3i and these are our first two imaginary solutions and now let us take a look at the real ones so here x square minus 3 is equal to 0 x square minus 3 is equal to 0 which means uh, if we add 3 to both sides we will get the value we will get uh, x value of uh, x square uh, as 3 now we will do the same thing again uh, that is to take the square root of both sides and uh, pl please do not forget this plus minus sign here and here root of x square is again x and that is equal to plus minus root 3 and these are our next two real solutions so the four values of x are as follows x is equal to uh, root 3i comma negative root 3i and and root 3 uh, and what negative root 3 and these are the four values of x for this equation so that was it for today guys hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did 
then please like this video and share this video with your family and friends and also do not forget to subscribe and clicking the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video